Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to buy crypto on Binance. I'm gonna be going over a very easy method just to buy crypto on Binance, going over the difference between buying crypto on Binance via market order versus limit order. So I'm gonna be giving you an example of three ways to buy crypto on Binance. There'll be timestamps in the description below. Okay, so once you've deposited money into your account, uh, go back to that credit card icon in the very center, and you'll see at the top right, uh, this yellow button with arrows pointing in opposite directions. We're going to click on that and we're going to click on buy crypto with cash. And now you'll see multiple options to buy crypto on Binance. So we're going to look for ADA or Cardano. Okay, right there. Cardano, also known as ADA. We're going to click on that. And you can see at the top right what the current price of ADA is, which is $1.14. So type in how much. Uh, worth of ADA you would like to purchase and it tells you that the minimum order amount has to be at least $20 so let's just click on OK so we're gonna have to actually buy $20 worth so $20 worth click on preview purchase and as you can see we're gonna be buying $20 worth of Cardano which is a uh, 17.5 shares uh, you can see that there is a 10 cent fee but 10 cents isn't that much so I'm gonna click on confirm purchase Orders being processed, you'll get confirmation email once your order is completed. Great. And at the very bottom here, you'll see buy and sell. So we're gonna click on buy. And here you can see multiple options like to buy Bitcoin with a market order or a limit order. Quick summary, market order, you choose to buy Bitcoin at its current market price. Limit order, you're gonna set a price to actually buy Bitcoin. For example, let's say I wanted to buy Bitcoin at exactly $52,000, you do it via limit order, but for this example, we're just gonna be buying uh, Bitcoin via market order. So the best way I found to actually figure out how much Bitcoin you wanna buy is go under limit order and just start typing in like random amounts, like let's just see here, I'm typing in 0 .00, let's see, seven. Okay, so at that point, I'd be buying $36 worth of Bitcoin. Uh, let's go with, okay, there we go. So at this point, if I buy 0.0002 worth of Bitcoin, I'll be paying around like $10.50. So let's do that. So our market order going to be purchasing 0002 is what I said, I believe. Yep. Okay. 0.0002. So you use the limit tab to actually figure out how much uh, Bitcoin you could buy and at this point I'm going to buy 0 0.0002 worth of Bitcoin so place buy order so after that you back out and click on that very middle tab which looks like a credit card button and scroll on down to Bitcoin and as you can see I did buy 0 0.0002 worth of Bitcoin today so right here you see BNB slash US dollars. I'm gonna click on that because I'm planning on buying BNB with US dollars. Okay, at the very bottom you see buy or sell. So I'm gonna click on buy. Uh, you set the amount of BNB you would like to buy in addition to the price point you wanna buy. Let's say I wanna buy BNB for exactly $492. Um, I'd set the limit price to $492.00. And let's say I'm gonna buy 0 0.03. So let's say I want to buy uh, 0 0.03 worth of BNB at the price point of 492. So let's actually place that order because it looks like it might actually drop down to 492. Wow, okay, it's dropping down relatively quick. Okay, so we're actually gonna go with uh, 491. And now we're going to be buying 0 0.03 worth of BNB for $14.73. Let's click on place buy order. And now all we have to do is wait for it to hit 491, which it is currently hitting 491. So let's see if our buy order for BNB went through. But going back, all right, we see our open orders right here. Uh, we can modify our open orders if we would like to, or we could just sit and wait to see when this order goes through. So I'll show you what the order looks like uh, once it actually goes through, we just had to see BNB hit under 191, which it looks like it could here in just a second. Come on, there we go. Okay, I hit 189. So that means that the order should have gone through. So let's go back just to check. Okay, so you see how the open order disappeared there? That means the order was fulfilled. So I'm going to click on that credit card button 
and click on BNB and the purchase should be here. But I'm not sure why. So I actually can't see like where the history is, but I do know that I actually did purchase a little bit of BNB because my amount of BNB is higher than it was before. If this video helped you out, be sure to hit that like button. And when signing up for a Binance account, feel free to use my referral link in the comment section below or my referral code. Definitely helps support the channel. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.